Hi, I'm Camilla, and this is Kang, and we're the Fry Resellers. And I went thrifting earlier this week without him, and I picked up a ton of stuff. So I went to a store that was a thrift outlet, so this is the last stop for these items. They are $2 each, and so I picked up a ton of stuff that morning, and Kang hasn't seen any of it, so this is going to be his honest reaction. Yeah. Let's see what she got. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first I got these. I actually did send you a text message with yeah. these, these Doc Martens, but they're rough. They're all rough. cracked up. But I think that we can restore them and get them back to some good shape. The bottoms look pretty good. Yeah, the bottoms are pretty good, uh, but they definitely have been worn. Or... We're off to a pretty good start, though. Yeah. Decent, anyway. I feel yeah. like maybe we can recolor it, re redo it. I think so. We'll see. But I also think they're kind of cool, like... I don't know if you wanted some that looked, you know, very worn in. Worn in, yeah. Which I feel like is a style that people are into. So I don't sure. know. Yeah. So these are size ten in men. So pretty cool. If you're interested. Yeah. Next, I got some Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks. So some clogged Birkenstocks. I don't think we've ever sold clogged Birkenstocks before, but these are pretty cool. These are a size forty-four. I believe that they're men's. The bottoms are pretty good on this one too. Yeah, so it just has a little bit of wear, kind of fraying, I guess you would call it, but like fuzziness on the suede and mm -hmm. one little mark on here. But I think that if we get a little suede brush going, we can get that cleaned up. Pretty nice. Now speaking of Birkenstock, this is a brand underneath Birkenstock, Pap Papilio? Papilio. Papilio? Maybe. I don't know. They oh, seem yeah, to it make- it says Burke right here too. Yeah, they seem to make like more kind of bohemian funky sort of styles like nice. almost like i think that they're cuter than birkenstocks like these ones i think are kind of a cuter style pretty cool but yeah the same type of cork shoe guess what these are bionic yeah <laughs> <laughs> nice so these are bionic and they are bionic is a covered shoe brand and we love picking these up we used to find them all the time at this thrift store and recently have not been finding them as much, but... These are pretty nice. Yeah, these Look are nice. That. So I feel like I kind of broke our drought of Vionic. I got another pair. Another pair. So another Vionic pair of shoes. I actually put a lot of Vionics back because I only picked up the ones that I could see the size. Occasionally we've accidentally picked up Bionic shoes that didn't have the size in there and that makes it tougher. These so, are almost worn off. You can barely see I know, I, but you can see it on this one. It's a size 10. The bottoms are looking pretty good too. I know. So I don't know if people were just like wearing these inside or the bottoms just turn out really nicely for these, but I really don't know. Hmm. Okay. And then these I was excited to pick up. They are some Ugg clogs. Wow. These and look pretty nice. Yeah. I think that's whoever wore these wore these as house shoes because the bottom oh. <laughs> again. I'm <laughs> really nice. Really yeah. in good condition. So I think that these should do well. They're size 10 again. So I think that these are really cute. I actually put back at the store, I put back two pairs of Uggs, like Ugg boots, but they were in not very good condition at no. all. Put back a lot of shoes this time because they just weren't in good condition and I didn't want to have to deal with cleaning them or you know having them around for a while. We have a lot of shoes just in our house. So we don't want to pick up shoes that are just going to sit around. Oh, these look pretty so nice. So here are, this is a new brand to us, the Charleston Shoe Company. But I thought they looked really nice. Look kind of like Tom's. Yeah, they they do kind of look like Tom's. I thought maybe they were when I picked them up. Or like Lucky Brand. But they are in really good condition as well. And I think that they should sell for about $30. Oh, pretty good. Yeah. Another pair of Bionics. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Another pair. So this store opens at 7 a.m. on Thursday. That's when everything is $2. They reset the whole store. And I went in there and I just like beeline to the shoes. And I looked through all of the shoes and I was just loading up my cart with any shoes that I thought were good. I just had so much fun doing that. And there were a ton of Bionics this day. Abio, I guess. Bio I've never, system. Hmm. I have never found this brand of shoe before, but when I looked it up, the comps, meaning, you know, the other sold of these shoes looked really good. So I decided to pick them up and I'll see how they do. They, these are an eight and a half. I thought these were pretty cute too, but they kind of reminded me of like Birkenstocks. Hmm. So next Crocs. I got a pair huh. of Croc flip flops. Pretty They're plain. just black. Yeah. Pretty but plain, but pretty nice. yeah, we've sold some of these before. Should sell for about $20. Iconic Crocs comfort. That they were, you know, Pretty basic, but pretty yeah. good. Another pair of the Papilio 
brand shoes and these are like this tiny little heel. It says licensed by Birkenstocks. Yeah, so oh, they are cool. Birkenstocks. So these are size 38, which is yeah. a women's size seven. They're pretty cute. I thought these were pretty, pretty adorable. These, these were the first ones of that brand that I found that day. And I was like, oh man, it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Cause these are in really nice condition. So since this store is an outlet store, meaning that all of these items have been available in the thrift store, for a while and they mm -hmm. have now come to this outlet. Most of the time the shoes are not in very good condition. So like you can see all these shoes that I bought, but it's maybe only 1% of the number of shoes that they actually had in mm -hmm. the store. Wow. And so it's not like everything in the store is very good. It takes us a long time to go through all of this and pick out, you know, few items that are, you know, able to be sold online and all of that. So next we have a pair of Sam Edelman shoes. They are yeah. leather. They kind of have this like, is it called calf hair? Yeah, maybe. I think so. Wow. Where it's like it's really cool. hairy, I yeah, guess. Very hairy. <laughs> but I thought that these are really nice. I think that they are kind of a classic style with the leopard print heels. Mm -hmm. They're a size eight and a half, so very cute. So here we have some uh, Alegria. Alegria, Alegria shoes. I've never picked up this brand before, but I've heard that it's really good. And these are in a little bit more of a worn condition, but I thought they were pretty cute and should still do well for us. Here we have a pair of Taos sandals. And I think that we actually have this exact pair of sandals already. Hmm. That we picked up a couple weeks ago from Goodwill Bins, another outlet store. These are size 11 to 11 and a half in women. So pretty big pretty size, cool. which is nice, nice, but they are in really good condition. They have hardly any wear on the bottom. These should sell for about $30. Hmm. A couple more Ionics. Ionics, oh, another okay. pair. Okay, so these are Wedge, a Ionic Wedge, and these are an older style of Ionic because it says, it still says Ortho Heel, mm -hmm. which is an old, basically Ionic used to be Ortho Heel and now they rename themselves. Mm -hmm. And so on the older shoes, it will say both versus the newer ones will just say Ionic. Cool. So pretty cute. And another pair? <laughs> another, another pair? <laughs> yeah, we're just drowning in Bionics now. Wow. So these, but these are, are great. Yeah, I mean, these are one of our favorite brands to sell. It is a really good seller for us. People are always looking for these online. And it seems like people don't really pick them up as much in the thrift store because it kind of has a unique audience, like people who are really into, you know, comfort shoes, I guess. A dietist designed. Yeah. So get your comfort in mind. I think this is the last pair of Bionics. <laughs> another pair. So another pair of flip flops. These are very plain flip flops and these are kind of granny, but we will clean them up and get them, you know, back in good condition yeah. before selling that them. That so, me. I will get yeah. them in good condition. Yeah. I mean, they just need a little sponge down, you know? Yeah. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Ooh, so this booties. is kind of a little bit of a risk on my part. Clarks. I usually don't pick up Clarks, but I thought these are pretty cute and kind of substantial and they're in nice condition. You know, they don't seem to have very much wear on the bottom and they're kind of this cute slouchy sort of style. So I decided to take a risk on them and pick them up. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Just all for like 25. Birkenstocks. Another pair of Birkenstocks. So wow, you are killing it. These are in not as good condition, but I figured we could still sell them. Yeah. Birkenstocks sell pretty much in any condition. It's just, you know, hitting the right price point. Yeah, these still should be able to sell. They don't have any cracks on the cork, which is something that you want to look out for, but they are kind of worn hmm. on the insoles and on the bottom. Nice. Wow. That was like 30 pairs of shoes. No, I gotta, it was not. I gotta it was not because... I, since the store is, you know, you pay per item and it's the same amount, they basically just count up the number of items that you have. And I bought 31 items in total. Oh. So I think it's maybe only like 15 to 20 pairs of shoes. Oh, okay. It's really saturated. Come on. Here I picked up some American Eagle jean shorts and they are like, I believe, the high rise festival shorts. And they're in a good size. They're in, a, I think, a size 20. So oh. that's a nice size and they're in really nice condition. So no kind of puckering at the crotch, which is something that happens often with women's jeans, so you want to be on the lookout for that. So before we get more into the clothes, what we end up doing with these items is we sell them on places like eBay and Poshmark, 
Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, all that to make them available to a wider audience and to make them available to people who are looking for that exact thing. Mm -hmm. And we're able to make some profit off of that. So we pick up these items from different places, usually the places that is like basically the last stop before the landfill, mm -hmm. resuscitate them a little bit, spruce them up a little bit, all of that and sell them for money online. So yeah. if you are interested in that type of content, if you're interested in learning more about how to make money doing that, either from your own clothes or clothes that you find in thrift stores or at garage sales or dumpster diving, I'm not really sure, you know, what your flavor is, <laughs> but you should give us a follow because we share, you know, trends and things that are selling online for us and try to give tips and tricks on how to do that. Oh, look at this. This is a really cool jumpsuit <laughs> Yeah, it's a jumpsuit. Thing. So this is the brand Young, Fabulous, and Broke YFB. I have never picked this brand up before. I think maybe I've seen it once, but it was like a shirt or something. But it seems like jumpsuits in this brand do really well. So it seems like they're a brand that's known kind of for their jumpsuits. So this should sell for like $30, maybe even $50, depending okay. on the others available. Here we have an athletic dress and it's a wool blend, I believe. Hmm. And it's really cute. So I thought yes. it was very precious. It's kind of ribbed wool knit dress. It will probably sell for like 20 to 25. So this is the brand Royal Robins, which is like a hiking outdoor sort of brand. And so this is a hiking skirt, I believe, or like a camping skirt. And I thought it was just really cute. I think this brand is really high quality. We've sold it once before. Yeah, but and not for a whole, whole lot. Yeah, only like recall. $15. But I think, you know, as spring is starting and people are starting to hike and do more kind of outdoorsy things, people will be looking for these things. And, you know, you're always kind of wanting to watch what people are buying, what people are interested in buying. Mm -hmm. So you want to kind of be on the pulse of what people are actually doing and, and buying. So, yeah, the demand might be higher. We can maybe command right. a higher price for it. Exactly. So that's kind of how I feel about it. Oh, see if you can figure this one out. Is it Lululemon? It is. It is Lululemon. Feels so nice. So it's, there's a little Lulu something, a little Lulu, um, Logo. Oh, here. Here's the logo. Oh, nice. Little logo there. And originally I was like about to pass by because it doesn't have a tag at the top. It's just a sweatshirt. And the rip tag has been pulled out. You know, it doesn't have any sort of markings at the top mm -hmm. at all. And I was like, oh, you know, whatever. That's probably nothing. But then I thought, I should just look. I should just check. Thanks. So I looked around nice. and quality. I saw the little logo there. And it's a size eight in here so, so. <laughs> if you find lululemon things and the rip tag has been pulled out you should definitely always check the pockets because often there's a little dot in there that gives the size okay so this one i just picked up because of style so it's just a little vintage sort of linen blend dress but i thought it was really cute for spring and summer nice. i could definitely see someone wearing this so oh look buried in there another <laughs> another pair of crocs <laughs> so so many sandals so we're definitely prepared like for sand. spring I like summer. selling these. Yeah. I like selling Crocs. Yeah, they're really easy. This is an L.L. Bean button-up shirt, and it's just kind of a flannel, basic plaid shirt. But these are very classic styles, and people are always looking to pick these up. And they're really high quality. Okay, so this I picked up just based on style. And... Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Isn't it pretty cool? I feel like it's very Y2K. Like, I feel like and Britney Western. Spears was wearing this. <laughs> you know, in the early 2000s. And so that's the reason I picked it up. It does seem like it's missing. So these little grommets here, it looks like maybe there was like a tie that went through there, but I'm sure that you could make your own tie for it or just wear it open, which I feel like would look cute too. So it's actually leather. So this is actually real suede. Mm. So that was another reason I picked it up was that it was actually high quality material nice. rather than just like plastic. So this is a Torrid dress. Torrid is a really good kind of bread and butter brand for us, meaning that it sells for about $20. And I would expect that this dress will sell around there. I really actually like picking up Torrid, especially some of the older Torrid items because Torrid has changed a lot over the years and some people really like kind of the old Torrid style. And so are searching for that online because they don't make it anymore. So mm. whenever I find Torrid in the thrift store and it's, and if it's in good condition, I usually pick it up so that I can make it available online for nice. people. Another Torrid so, dress. Speaking of Torrid, yeah. So here, this is just kind of a faux wrap dress. I thought this was really cute too. So I found these actually pretty much right next to each other. So I believe that probably the same person donated them. Yes. 
but I thought these were really cute. J. Joe. So this is a J. Joe sweater and I thought it was a really cute pattern. And so when I picked it up, there was another one with it, but the other one was stained. But this one is a really interesting like material content and it's part hemp. So the first- 41%. Yeah, 41% hemp, then cotton, and then a little bit of Raimi and 4% other fiber. So I don't actually know what Raimi is, but hemp and cotton are two kind of natural fibers. That's really good, you know, if you're interested in, you know, wearing more natural fibers rather than like polyester and rayon, that's basically plastic in fabric form. So those are more kind of natural organic type things. What um, do you think? Let's see. What would you give this, what would you give this haul out of 10? Mm. At least an eight. An eight? Yeah, it's pretty good. So basically what this is, is about $70, a little bit less than $70 into about 700, 700 which is pretty good. 650 to 700. So pretty good, which that's kind of what we're hoping for. We're hoping to kind of basically 10 times our money. Yeah. Most of the time. But that's... stuff from the outlet, you know, it's like the right. last stop. It's some of the not so great stuff. You know, uh -huh. sometimes you get some gems too. Right. So exactly. this is all the thrill of the hunt. So if you're interested in this type of content and learning to do this stuff, mm -hmm. please subscribe. So comment below what you think the best find in the day was. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That tells YouTube that this is a video that it should show to more people, which we love. And mm -hmm. like Kang already mentioned, if you were interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you as part of our community. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye. Another pair of...